the Diffusion Cloud Chamber. Cloud chambers were invented in the beginning of the 20th century and can be used to make ionizing radiation visible and examine charged particles. In the cloud chamber that is shown here, a heated channel of isopropyl alcohol is placed at the top. This evaporates and disperses in the air within the chamber. The plate at the bottom is cooled to around minus 30 degrees C, so the mixture of air and alcohol is cooled close to it. Due to the low temperature, the solubility of the alcohol in the air decreases to the point at which it would condensate. The air above the plate is then supersaturated because only few condensation nuclei are present. At this point, even small disturbances can cause the formation of condensation nuclei and droplets of isopropyl alcohol are formed. The tracks are mainly caused by alpha or beta minus radiation. The first one consists of helium nuclei, which are also called alpha particles. The second one is electrons with different amounts of kinetic energy. Gamma radiation can only become visible when it releases electrons from atoms, which then are able to form a track. Nevertheless, other particles like positrons or protons could also leave tracks. The tracks are formed because the particles collide with atoms and molecules from the air, knocking off electrons and leading to the formation of ions. This is called impact ionization. The ions then act as condensation nuclei because they attract the molecules of the alcohol. This leads to the formation of droplets in the supersaturated air and traces are formed along the trajectory of the charged particle. Alpha particles have a high ionizing ability, so a large number of atoms is ionized along its trajectory, leading to the particle being slowed down very quickly. This leads to wide and short tracks. Due to the relatively high mass of the particle, the trajectory is almost completely straight. Electrons have a lower ionizing ability, which leads to long thin tracks, which are not straight due to the relatively low mass, especially when these have low energy. To remove the traces faster, a high voltage can be applied between the top and the bottom of the chamber. This causes an electric field to form that removes the ions faster from the chamber. It is also called an ion scrubber. In this chamber you can see thin metal strings at the top which were added to apply the high voltage. An interesting sample is Radon 220. It has a half-life of 55 seconds and decays into Polonium 216 under emission of an alpha particle. The Polonium 216 only has a half-life of 0.15 seconds and decays quickly to form Lead 212 with a longer half-life under emission of an alpha particle. This is why V-shaped patterns are formed in the cloud chamber, which are characteristic for Radon 220. Radon 220 is part of the decay chain of thorium. This can be found in old gas mantles, which is why these are radioactive and can be used as a source of radon gas. The old gas mantles were also used to prepare the sample which was used in the cloud chamber. This was the Diffusion Cloud Chamber. I hope you enjoyed, please rate and comment. If you want to see how electrons behave in a magnetic field, you can watch my video about it here, or you can watch my latest video here. A big thanks to my supporters on Patreon.